Hi, my name is Henry Sangerman. This is Taurus Earth. This is joint work with Saul Schleimer. So this is a similar sort of idea to another project we worked on, which is a Twisted Earth, in that it's the Earth, or the surface of the Earth, put onto a surface that is not a sphere. So what's happening here? So here I've got um, North America, South America, Asia, Europe, Africa, and so on. If we go uh, west of Europe, across the Atlantic, we get to North America, South America again, um, as you would expect. In fact, so if you turn this over, the two sides are identical. You get exactly the same picture. So there's twice as much Earth as there is on the usual sphere. Um, so, right, what's going on? Something is breaking somewhere. Well, let's look up at the North Pole. You can see there's actually a hole in the model. And you can see there's two copies of Greenland around this uh, North Pole. In fact, there's a branch point here is one way to say it. So the usual texture of the Earth has got sort of unrolled twice around this North Pole. And uh, so you see two copies of the, the nearby um, features. So, well, what about the South Pole? There's Antarctica, you can just see on the inside of the Taurus. And again, there's this little um, promontory that goes out towards uh, South America. And on the other side, it's the same thing again. Um, and there's two more holes going through here. Here's one which is uh, actually on the equator in between Africa and um, South America uh, in the Atlantic. And then the other one is in the Pacific. It's a little hard to see. It's uh, sort of near to Australia. So um, here's a, a 3D model. It's up on uh, Sketchfab. You can actually go and play with this yourself. The link's in the description below um, of uh, the usual Earth on a sphere with these four points marked. And so what's happened here is, um, let me get a, a skewer here so I can show you what's going on. So if I put a skewer through the, uh, the four holes here, um, there's this sort of uh, map which goes from the torus down to the sphere. And well, the idea is that if you kind of do a spit roast, if you twist the torus around like this, then you get the same thing. So if you mod out by that motion, what, what does that mean? So another way to think about it is you, if you cut it sort of um, along, if you slice it along this way, then you'll get uh, two circular boundaries to this thing. And um, if you just stitch them up, uh, stitch these two boundaries to themselves, you just sort of zip it shut um, here and here, then the textures will match up. And the reason for that is, I mean, if you think about it, this bit here is the same as this bit here. So I can just close that up and I get the, the texture to match seamlessly. And when you do that, when you cut and then you glue it together, then you get a sphere with these four sort of corners. And so that's the same sphere as the usual Earth. So there's some complex analysis that went into how we generated this texture. The textures, uh, or the model is conformal at every point other than those poles. So all the angles are preserved. Um, we actually pull back the spherical texture on the Earth by a wire strass P function. So, uh, this is Taurus Earth. Thanks for watching.